Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives uh, still working on uh, all level mathematics so in this platform guys we shall actually be working on uh, sides uh, that is uh, a continuation uh, if we save some questions that we actually worked on on sides previously so this time we shall be working on rationalizing the denominator uh focusing from mess to day book three so if you're new guys you can subscribe so that you won't miss any of the classes that you shall be having from mess on african motives so we shall quickly rush through this part of rationalizing the denominator from sets um if you are to cross check from your sets we talked about sets being uh, numbers which are having the square root like that so rationalizing the denominator it's only a condition where the denominator is carrying a set which is the square root like this so in order for you to rationalize the denominator what you're going to do if you are given a single term like this you are going to multiply uh, both the numerator uh, both the numerator and denominator and the denominator okay and the denominator in this case by the denominator all right so what does this mean we are multiplying by the denominator take note this is the one that is multiplying but it is going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator so why why are we doing this okay take note we are talking about issue of rationalizing the denominator here it means if you are to write this part is 1 over square root of 3 like this the denominator is not allowed to carry a, a number which is a square root like this so that is why we have to rationalize to rationalize is to make the denominator a rational number which is a rational number you are referring to a number such as 2 a 9 7 any number which is not under the square root so we said we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the denominator which is square root of 3 so this is what you're going to do so as you can see square root of 3 over square root of 3 has no effect because the same as 1 but the moment you multiply this you're going to have 1 times square root of 3 which is square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 remember from your laws of sets guys square root of a times square root of a we say this is going to give us this is going to give us a so here we've got square root of 3 times square root of 3. So which means square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us 3. A, A, your answer is going to be A without square root. So we've got 3 and 3, so your answer is going to be 3. So this is going to be 3 like this. Never cancel this number that is under the square root. And the number which is outside of the square root, these two do not have a relationship. You can only cancel maybe it was a condition like this 4 over square root of 2 like this i want you to see something that is going to happen here we are going to multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2 which is the denominator all right the moment you multiply by uh, by square root of 2 what is going to happen this one is same as 1 you multiply the numbers outside the square root not the number that is inside this is a number outside so it's going to multiply the number that is outside of the square root all right, so what are we going to have? Let's multiply in this case. That's 4 times 1, which is 4. So we're going to have 4 square root of 2 over. So we multiplied 4 and 1, which gave us 4. Then we multiply square root of 2 and square root of 2. Remember what we said, a square root and a square root, when it multiplies each other, when the numbers are the same, we're just going to take this number under the square root, which is 2. But this time, this 4 is outside of the square root. So it has the power to be divided by these two because it's also outside of the square root. So these two can divide each other. So it's 2 into 2, which is 1, 2 into 4, which is 2. So our answer is going to be 2 over 1, which is 2 square root of 2. And these two do not have power to multiply each other. You're just going to leave your answer like this. So you have to take note, guys, the way that you're going to apply or use uh, the idea of the sets there okay so there are so many questions guys that you can work with so many questions we've got so many questions uh from practice 11b1 which is on page 
243 from uh, mess today we are asked to simplify by rationalizing the denominators okay so these are the typical questions so you're just going to pick one or two of the questions and see what you're going to do but as you can see this one is such just the same as what i did uh, the same as this one uh, you just do the same there but let us just take a closer look on the d there um, which is a square root of 9 over 5 like this how can we simplify square root of 9 over 5 okay take note from your laws of sides we talked about this law here let me write it here we talked about this law which states that square root of a over square root of b like this is the same as square root of a over b so it means if you are given a condition like this where the two numbers are under the square root you can separate them so this one we can separate as square root of a over square root of b this is what you're going to do so let's separate square root of a our a in this case is 9 over square root of 5 so i have separated these two but looking at the question guys you can see that we can obtain the square root of 9 so we can we can evaluate that one because we have we know the square root of 9 is 3 so it's going to be 3 over square root of 5 we do not know this one we can't simplify or evaluate square root of 5 so square root of 5 is going to remain as square root of 5 like that okay i don't know why this thing is shaking like this okay maybe it's the setup that i did let me just try and adjust this side all right so looking at the question where we are now you are going to see that this part here that we are having we are now back to the rationalizing of the denominator here because the denominator is having us and we are now back to the part that we are used uh, which is the same thing like what we have here on 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 b or this one on say on a are you saying it's the same thing so we can rationalize our denominators here by multiplying by what by the denominator which is square root of five over square root of five so if you multiply this is same as you're multiplying to one so it's three times one which is three so it's going to be three square root of five over square root of five times square root of five we know that we are going to obtain five and these two cannot cancel with three and five so these two do not have relationships your answer is going to be like this as you can see your denominator is now a rational number a whole number which is a number that is not under the square root that's what you are saying there so that's how they ask these questions guys as you can see so there are so many uh, typical questions that you can work with so as you can see this is the same thing as on this example which is e so you can try it uh, or you can try also this one you can try this one let's just see this one together which is on c how we're supposed to answer that one it's a 21 21 over 2 square root of 3 like this all right so what are you going to do just like what you said to rationalize the denominator you have to multiply by what by the denominator which is the one that here is what that is under the the square root like that so this is one that you're going to to use all right so we are going to multiply by what we are going to multiply by the denominator here which is 2 square root of 3 so multiply by 2 square root of 3 over 2 square root of 3 as it is in the denominator all right so we can multiply our numbers this time so it's 21 and 2 this is the one that you're going to multiply 21 times 2 which is going to give you 42 square root of 3 everything over take note this time guys we have got numbers we are under the square root which is this 2 and this 2 so take note 2 times 2 that is 4 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 remember guys square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give you 3 so which means this 2 is going to give you a 3 remember what we said about uh, that law so you can uh, simplify further at this stage guys you can even reduce at the post this these two are multiplying so you've got the power to reduce if you if you can like this one 2 is common i can reduce by 2 2 into 4 that is 2 2 into 42 that is uh, 21 plus 2 into 4 that is 2 2 into 2 that is 1 i can also reduce again by 3 3 into 3 that is 1 3 into 21 that is 7 take note i do not have power to reduce the number that is under the square root with a number that is not inside the square root so as you can see in the numerator you are done you are just left with 7 
and square root of 3. So your answer is going to be 7 square root of 3 over 2 times 1, which is 2. So this is what you're going to have at the end. So that's how they ask these questions, guys. As you can see, very easy. But you need to revise as many questions so that it can be more easier than what it looks like. So let's just look F. So you can just try this one, guys. I want to try this one on F with you. Uh, maybe that's something which is different from other questions there. We are given 2 square root of 3 over square root of 15. Yes, we have got a square root there, but the square root in the denominator has to be reduced. So there are two ways. Okay, there are two ways that you can do. I can choose to use this concept here. Uh, you see, when you are working with maths, guys, sometimes you, have, you just need to have that foresight of seeing... Uh, things to like what you're going to have next because here uh, i have this option that i could have just multiplied by square root of 15 which is fine but remember what we said guys square root of a over square root of b can give us square root of a over b so which means these two can divide each other these two because they're under the square root so these two can divide each other so three into three that is one 3 into 5 into 15, that is 5. Take note, guys, we said numbers outside of the square root can divide each other. These 3 and 6 can divide each other. Which means also numbers under the square root can also divide each other. 3, 1, 3, 2. As long they are under the square root, all of them. Not to divide a number which is outside of the square root like this. 3 square root of 2 and we have got 4 then you divide these two this is wrong you don't divide a number inside the square root with 1 which is outside of the square root that is wrong all right so here we've got the power to do that because of the square root so we are going to be left with 2 square root of 1 over square root of 5 but we know that square root of 1 guys is equal to what square root of 1 is same as 1 so there's no effect because square root of 1 is 1 so 2 times 1 is going to give us 2 over square root of 5, which we can't simplify. So we are going to just remain as square root of 5 like that. So we are now back to our normal thing. That is what we are used to. So multiply by square root of 5 because we are now back to what we are used to. So 2 times square root of 5. Remember, we are going to obtain 2 square root of 5 over square root of 5 times square root of 5, which is going to give us 5. Now, it's in a simplest form and someone is tempted to divide these two which is very very wrong you can't do that this one is inside this one is outside the square root so they do not have any relationship all right i think uh, someone has learned something there uh, the last part that i just want you to work on you're just going to pick one question you're going to work on the others here you are asked to simplify so they can ask you to simplify like this so i'm just going to pick one of the questions because it's one and the same thing this one this one and this one just one and the same thing so i'm going to pick this f so you're going to try the others guys okay so on f we are given square root of 13 times square root of 15 times square root of 75 over square root of 5 times square root of 65 times square root of 10 all right so take note guys they want to scare you because of these square roots but remember we say there is a relationship that we can do as long a number is under the square root it can be divided by another number under the square root so which means we can reduce these numbers 5 into 5 1 5 into 15 that is 3 all right 13 into 13, that is 1. 13 into 65, that is 5. All right, let's reduce again. 5 into 5, that is 1. 5 into 75. What is 5 into 75, guys? 75 divided by 5, which is something like 15. All right, so this is going to give us 15. All right. We can also reduce here by 5. 5 into 10, that is 2. 5 into 15, which is 3. All right, so as we can see, guys, on top, you are going to be left with square root of 1 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 over square root of 1 times square root of 1 times square root of 2. So you have the power to reduce those numbers. Very, very 
uh, it's very very appropriate you can do that so square root of one we know it's one or you can even cancel both these ones are the same but we know that square root of one guys is what is one all right so we can simplify on top take note guys on top you are left with one times square root of three times square root of three remember what we talked about when the numbers are the same and you're multiplying your answer is going to be three over square root of one is same as one so there's no effect so one times the square root of two which is going to give you square root of two now look what you're left with you are now back to the rationalizing of the denominator because you are now left with a single term so you can multiply by square root of two over square root of two so what are you going to have at the end if you multiply three times square root of two is same as three times one which is three square root of two over square root of two times square root of two which is two and these cannot reduce each other because one is inside the square root one is outside of the square root so that's how they ask these questions uh guys we can see that this one is clear let me just try one example maybe another one maybe someone needs to learn something which one can i pick yeah let me just pick this one the d square root of eight times square root of 24 times square root of 39 everything over two square root of three times square root of 26 like that all right this is what you're given so let me just try this one you try the last one okay so here what i'm going to do let's try it and reduce the numbers under the square root so this two has got nothing to do because that's the only number outside of the square root so it can't divide any of these numbers inside the square root it can't do that okay so let's reduce guys what can you do here by by two all right by two here that's four by 2 here 2 into 26 that is 18 all right let's go on 3 into 3 that is 1 3 into 24 that is uh, 8 yeah 8 16 24 that is 8 all right yes 13 into 13 that is a 1 13 into 39 that is 3 guys take note 39 divided by 13 is 3 3 times 3 like this 13 times 3 3 times 3 that's 9 3 times 1 which is 3 as you can see is 39 all right so on top we are left with this part i want you to take note guys square root of 4 what is square root of 4 because this is square root of 4 but we all know that square root of 4 is what it's 2 so you're going to be left with 2 times square root of 8 okay let's just leave it for the meantime square root of 8 times square root of 3 over two this take note that two didn't work with these two so you're just going to remain as it is so it's two times square root of one which is one here we are left with square root of one which is one so two times one times one is two so you have to go the power to reduce this two and this two three into two that is one three into two that is one so you have got the power to do that so as you can see the denominator is just a one so there's nothing that is going to be left out here so you're just going to be left out with the numerator only which is square root of 8 times square root of 3 from our laws of sets we know that square root of a times square root of b is going to give us square root of a b you combine the numbers under the square root so 8 times 3 that is square root of 24 over 1 which is same as square root of 24 and you are going to be tempted in exam to leave your answer like this which is wrong why because we talked about simplifying of sets so if you watch the videos on the introduction of sets i talked about uh, simplifying of sets where you can simplify this number in its simplest form that is gonna be two numbers that you can multiply to obtain 24 with one a perfect square or you can just express 24 as a product of its prime factors that's 2 24 divided by 2 which is 12 divided by 2 again 12 divided by 2 that is 6 divided by 2 that is 3 3 1 so i said where there is a pair like this you write the number outside of the square root these two numbers they do not have a pair you're going to write them inside of the square root so you're going to be left with two outside of the square root like this then square root of 
these two numbers which do not have pair that is two times three which is six so this is what is going to be your final okay. so this part of simplifying sets if you don't understand it guys make sure that you watch the video on simplifying sets just type sets or irrational numbers at Maison African Motives, you're going to get this topic on the introduction. So that's it, guys, from Maison African Motives, working on all level mathematics um, sets till we meet again.